Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm making a bow today using this Polly McClay Fairy. She's got a gorgeous lilac glittery dress and sparkly white wings. So I've picked the ribbon to complement the colours in the little fairy. I've also got these little Polly McClay pieces. I bought this from AliExpress and you get like loads of random little bits. There's stars, there's gems, there's bows flowers, little hearts, all different little tiny shapes and I'm hoping to use some of these on the bow as well today. So I've already cut my ribbon, six pieces. So this is four centimetre wide ribbon or one and a half inch wide ribbon. And I've cut all four pieces to 32 centimetres in length. So that's four pieces. And then I've got these two one centimetre wide ribbon or 10 millimetre wide ribbon. I'll show you on that part of the tape measure because you can't see the first part. And I've cut two pieces to 30 centimetres in length. That might be too long when I come round to making it, but I always trim the tails off at the end. So you'll see that when we get to it, but they're both 30 centimetres. So first of all, I've got a lighter and I'm just going to heat seal all the ends of my ribbon to get rid of those frays and to also prevent further fraying. I've got some pins here. So I'm just going to take a pin and then a piece of white and a piece of lilac and I'm just going to put them together and I'm going to fold it in half and then using the heat from my lighter I'm just going to mark that centre making sure they're lined up. I'm going to pop a pin in there, down that centre crease and I'm going to do the same with the other two pieces. So now we've got both the centres marked, taking one of our pieces, the white I'm going to have facing towards me because that is the colour that I want on the inside and the lilac on the outside and I'm going to bring these two sides together and I'm just going to overlap this end by around a centimetre. And then again, I'm just going to pop a pin in there and I'm going to put the pin in halfway from the overlap. So I'm just going to pop that pin in there. If you want, you can just fold that in half and just check that you've got that central, which we have. So this is what you've got now. Next, we're going to, holding it like this, we're going to bring this piece over and then these two are going to come over the top so I'll just show you that again so holding it like this I'm going to grab this bottom one put my hand through this loop and I'm going to bring this over and then over the top and then what we're going to do I'm going to push that pin up so I can see where that is because I want to use that and this pin to line them up. So I'm lining this pin up with this pin and all of this edge up. I'm 
and then I'm just going to pop a clip on there to hold that in place. And then I'm just going to grab that middle pin out. I'm going to pop it through all of those layers to hold them in place like that. And then we're going to repeat the same with the second half. Now on the last one, I overlapped the left under the right. This time I'm going to un overlap it the opposite way around. Again, I'm just going to check that that is around a centimetre overlap. And then going by eye, I'm going to pop my pin in halfway in the middle of this overlap. So about there. And then I'm just going to check to make sure I've got that halfway. Which that is, like that. And then again, we're going to do the same. Bring in this piece over, lining the two pins up. I've got the pin in the right way this time. So taking a needle and some double strength thread, we're going to start sewing across our centre. We're going to begin just to the side of this corner. So we're going to go in for one, and then coming back out for two. So I'll keep this pinched and remove that first clip. And we're gonna go in again for three, four, Five. And I'm going to keep this pinched while I remove this clip. Six. Make sure that's all in line. Seven. And then coming out through this last corner, just to the side. Eight. And then removing those pins, we can pinch that all together. And then once you're happy that that's tight enough, you can then just go in that last edge a couple of times to seal off that pinch, keep that in there tightly. But you can leave the thread on there and we can continue with the same piece of thread to sew the other half of our bow. So taking our other half, we're going to do the same. We're gonna work from left, from right to left, sorry. Now we can 
pull that tight and that will bring these two halves together and then you can pull it tight to form that pinch again I'm just going to go through this side to secure that pinch And then turning the bow upside down. I'm just going to go through and bring those sides together. By just going in one side and through the other, closing in those two halves. And then I'm going to go through this loop a couple of times to form a knot. Pull it tight and then we can cut off that excess cotton. So this is the bow shape that you're left with. Now with this style of bow, you can actually have it either way. That looks really nice on that side as well. I have made a bow with this side up before and that is a really pretty finish. But I'm going to be using it on this side today and the reason I did the loops when I made the loops I overlapped them opposite if you remember the reason I done that is because if you do if you do one one way and one the other they're symmetrical in how they overlap so if I'd have done them both the same way this one would have been overlapping like it is and then this one would have been overlapping but I wanted them both to be the overlap ones at the top, if that makes sense. It's hard to explain what I mean, but hopefully you get what I'm saying. So now I'm going to add my clip. I've half lined it. The reason being so when I wrap my centre around, I can cover over the centre with this part. I don't always do that, but that does give a nicer finish. So whenever I can and I remember, I do try to do it that way. This clip is a 55 millimeter crocodile clip. And then to wrap around my center, I'm just gonna use a piece of white. I'm just gonna heat seal the end. I'm just gonna trim off this little piece of cotton that's sticking out we don't want them hanging out from the middle so just cut a strip of 10 mil uh, yeah 10 millimeter wide ribbon I'm just gonna start wrapping that around the center I'm gonna place that in the clip at the bottom and start bringing that around And I'm just going to trim off the excess, what we don't need. Heat seal that end. And then this is where we can then stick this piece over. So this is what we've got now. Don't worry too much about this crinkly centre because we're going to cover that. So this is where we need our two pieces of ribbon that we cut earlier, the rainbow and the white. I the reason I chose rainbow is because it's got a little bit of sort of lilac -ies in it. And I just thought that'd be a bit different to use an all one colour or two colours should I say. So that's why I chose rainbow, just to break it up a little bit. So again, I'm just gonna heat seal these ends, even though we will be trimming them again, 
just so we don't end up with any frying. And then I'm going to put those together and then we're going to make a little bow to lay on the top of our main bow. So I'm just going to put those pieces together and again I'm going to fold them in half. And just mark the center using a little bit of heat and then we're going to make a little bow now using this the reason I didn't make the bow before I put it on here is because I want the center quite flat I'm not going to bother putting a pinch in it so with the white on the inside I'm going to bring this side over overlapping that center crease and then you bring the other side over, overlapping that centre. And then you can just play around to get the bow how you like it. And once you're happy that that looks even, I'm just going to use a bit of hot glue. all the layers just to hold that all in place like that and then we can pop that in the middle of our bow but before I do that I'm going to trim these tails so I'm, I want to have the tails the bottom white tails longer than the top ones so I'm going to cut it at an angle and then the bottom ones I'm also going to cut at an angle I'm leaving them longer than the rainbow ribbon. I'm just going to hit seal. And then you're going to do the same with the opposite side. So making sure they're in line. So now we can place that in the centre of our bow. And next we can add our little fairy. I'm going to pop her on the top of that little bow in the middle like that. And to attach my polymer clay, I'm going to be using my trusty Gorilla Super Glue Gel. So I'm just going to give that a shake. Just to figure out where I need the glue. Near enough all over her back. I'm just going to hold her in place for a few seconds just to make sure that that glue takes. That is a fairly immediate bond, but just to be sure, I like to just hold it there for a little while. I'm 
And now we can add some little of our polymer clay embellishments on the side. So I've had a little rummage through my little tray of polymer bits and pieces and I've picked out four of these little lilac lilac and white roses and I'm going to use this glue it's a new one B7000 it's really strong be careful not to breathe it in because it is quite strong if you have any of this but I love the thin tip on this and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pop a little bit on the bottom of each flower and I'm just going to place that on each of my loops on each corner Now that glue will take a little while to set, so I'm going to be gentle with my bow. But as you can see, that just adds a little bit extra detail. It's a really gorgeous little hair bow. And that's all done. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll pop some links below of where I get my ribbon and the little polymer clay pieces. The um, little fairy, I actually got that ages ago in a Eliza Henry bow box, but you can get lots of little uh, toppers like this online. Just have to Google Polly McClay bow centers. So I'll pop some links of what I can in the description below. If you've got any questions, pop them in the comments. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.